Glory of God. Glory of God. My brothers and sisters all over the world, I'm happy to come your way at this time of the day. I thank God for this great opportunity. I bear one thing is sure this night. I've come to remind you what you already know that you probably don't take very serious. Because Christ has given you a new life. This is the new life we live in. This is the new kingdom I'm talking about. To God be the glory, you will be reminded today, and I pray you may not just be the year I alone, but the door of the word of God. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for everything. We thank you, O Lord, for your spirit that is always present. Father, as we minister to you today, minister to your people. Let this, your word, become life and spirit in them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yes. My name is Pastor Osas. I live in the United Kingdom. And honestly, I will say this is my first time going on here. I want to bring to you today that there is gracious assurance in the word of God. There is assurance in the word of God. Most especially in this season, we need faith. We need the ability to remind ourselves that God's word will never return to him void. It must, it must accomplish that which is be sent for. We're going to be dealing with assurance in God's word today. Please, I want you to follow me through the test. I'm going to take you to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. It says, faith is being sure of what we hope for. And certain of what we do not see. Hope. Faith. There are two things. It says, faith is being sure of what we do Hope for and certain of what we of what we do not see. What am I trying to tell you this morning? When we say faith, we're talking of chronic belief. We're talking about something that is registered inside of you. That you truly believe. That you are 100% sure of. That's part of the fact that you've not seen it. But you hope for it. That certainly it must be according to God's purpose in your life. Do you get that? You have to be certain of that which you hope for. Your world, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit must agree with what you hope for. That is faith. With this, I can tell you that I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, not any power, neither height or depth, neither anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ our Lord Jesus. Why? Because the pillar of my faith rests in him. The pillar of my faith the platform of which my faith established rests on Jesus. This is why I am so convinced that nothing shall by any means, any means deny me from his love. This is the only way to survive in this kingdom. Are you hearing me? 
Let me quickly show you something in the book of Isaiah, or from the book of Isaiah 54, verse 10. Are you hearing? Are you ready to hear this? Isaiah 54, verse 10. It says, Thou the mountain be shaken. Though the mountain be shaken. And the hills be removed. Yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken. Nor my covenants of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Hallelujah. This is a place to shout. So no matter what's going on today in life, no matter what you think is going to cause you fear or worries, I want you to rely on this fact that none of them can move you. Though the mountain be shaken, what is the mountain in your life? What is the hill that is going to be removed? Don't let anything take you from the ways. Or the love of Christ. Because this is the name. That everything submit to. Is it sicknesses? Is it financial problem? Are you struggling with anything? When you rely. On this name. Your faith will be established. Are you following me? Are you following me? This is the word of God that we believe. This is the word of God that we preach. That no matter what, His word can never return to Him void, but it must accomplish that which is be sent. In First Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, it said, Those who have served well gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Christ Jesus. Have you served well? Check your ways. Check your ways. The reason why you are fear. I mean, the reason why you are afraid of every situation, it is because you've not served well. It is because you check yourself, you are not in the right place with Christ. But I pray for you these days, whether you like it or not, God is finding you. You must stand in the right place with him, in the name of Jesus, so that no weapon form against you will ever prosper. Do you know his voice? Can you I mean, remind yourself all that he has spoken to you? This word is for you. He's been spoken for your purpose. Christ came to die for you. Christ is the word that has been given to you. Your miracle, your safety is wrapped, wrapped up on this word. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 27 to 29, he said, Jesus said, my sheep listen. To my voice. I know them. They follow me. I gave them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Do you understand that? Because you know the voice of God. Because you've humbled yourself. To be with him. He knows your voice and you know him. You will never perish. So please, I say this respectfully. This is a polite notice. If your life is right with God, if you know his voice, if you know him, be rest assured that you have eternal life and you shall never perish. No virus, no sickness will tell of your end. 
because they are not your judge. Do you hear that? No one can snatch you out from his hand. Hallelujah. Because thy father has given you to our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory of God. Are you following me? Who do you believe? Are you ashamed of who you believe? I am not ashamed. My household is not ashamed. Because we know who we have believed. And we are convinced that he's able to guide what we have trusted to him for his for these days. Hallelujah. Are you persuaded? Are you persuaded? Do you think sickness has caused your end? If you truly believe in Christ. Let me put you in remembrance of that passage that I just read. John chapter 10, verse 27 to 29. So Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice. And I know them. And they follow me. I give them eternal life. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them. At all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. This is the word that has been spoken for your purpose. Are you on the Lord's side? My question tonight, are you on the Lord's side? If you're on the Lord's side, no one can snatch you out from him, his hand. Because the Father has given you to him. The situation cannot dictate for me what I have to teach. Because I'm not looking at them. My message is to preach good news to the people. Not to preach coronavirus. It's not an issue at all. Glory be to God. It is not an issue at all. Because we are placed by the blood of Jesus. So let us draw near to God. With a sincere heart. In full assurance of faith having an heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed pure with water Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 to 23 are you persuaded are you on the law side do you have this assurance that the word of God will not fail? Do you believe I've come to release peace and the good news for you once again? Don't be afraid. Don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He said you are the light of the world. Have you ever seen a healer that say? Don't be afraid. John chapter 3 verse 16 said, For God so loved the world that he sent his only beloved son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Then why are you scared? You only need to believe. 
then you will not perish. You have eternal life. Your assurance in him is sure. Are you persuaded? Do you believe? Instead of you thinking, discouraging yourself with things of the world, why not think about the word of God that is, I mean, that has been spoken for your sake? He said, The word of God is forever settled. Makusa leke masura bahile gesaya. This is the truth about it. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 6, verse 47, said, I tell you the truth. He who believes has everlasting life. Replace your worries with belief. Replace your fear with confidence. That is just the way it is. I've come to preach good news to you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you all. I love you all with the love of God. Amen. I'm out of here.